All right, we got Sonic and Ampharo, or uh, Rosalina Luma on Woohoo Island, and from what I understand, prepare yourself. This matchup's going to take a little bit of time, so I'll be here talking to you, Scream, for some stories, some plots, motifs, themes, literary devices, all those enjoyable things that we have for Smash. In terms of storylines, uh, Ampharos, I think, from what, what the heck? How did he end up in the ground? I think that's that call. Oh, customs are on. I think that's that hammer special going off right there. That move looks pretty... Yeah, I don't want to play either of these guys because some of the... Like, Ampharos has played me really close, and I don't know what the hell Sonic is throwing out. I thought all of his moves looked the same, but... You know. And for the stream asking, there are no starters or counterpick distinctions here in the Kansas stock market because we're not scrubby and we don't just uh, randomly say some stages are better than others for no reason. So, welcome to the uh, real meta game. We got some customs going on right now, and welcome, we're we're on a boat. Uh, shout out to T Pain. <laughs> and right now we got Jungle Chief is trying to put in some work. I felt like I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Like it's very deceptive when you're playing a Rosalina Luma player, just because. Wow, that's a good forward smash pickup too, but it's very deceptive. Sometimes you feel like you do so much damage to Rosalina Luma, but then you realize, oh man, all I did was hit the Luma over and over again. <laughs> oh, he picks up that kill right there, and Ampharos is in a bit of a lead. And we'll see what he does with it. Like, in this situation, he's like, you know, he can really exercise his lead just by camping it out. Sonic's going to have a hard time getting through a lot of just the wall that Rosalina Luma is able to put up. So, it'll be tough, but, you know, Jungle Chief has proven himself to be a pretty versatile Sonic player. So let's see what he can make of the situation. And we're at the cliff right here. Shoutouts to, uh, this is Welcome to the Pride Lands. The Lion King. Of course, you know, the uh, bridge is in the background. I don't know, that's not the Golden Gate Bridge. You got some weird, you know, suspension action going on on that. But back to the match. Oh, Luma just putting in work on the outside right there. And. Oh, uh, it looks, goes for a hard up smash. Probably not a question. Probably a question. I'm not sure if he had anything set up. But who knows? They, got, they play a lot with each other. So that's one of those situations where if players are very familiar with each other, they're more likely to go for like these crazy, stupid reads that you, like come out of seemingly nowhere. But they've been like generated over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of friendlies of playing with each other. And right now, if I'm Jungle Chief, he's got that Luma killed, so this is time to make something happen. But at the same time, there's so much rage action going on that it could be a, could be dangerous here. Luma is not as or Rosalina is not as good as that Luma, but she's still dangerous. Can't let your guard down. Well, you see him ignoring Luma right there. Tries to pick up the kill, gets down smashed, misses the platform, and that'll be game one. Going to amazing Ampharos. All right, we're sitting here. This is like, this is just about losers eight. MJG is sitting in losers corner finals, waiting for the winner of this. That's how stacked it is. We have MJG playing for fifth place at the local, and on the other side we have some baddie also playing for fifth place. So, in the Midwest has historically been pretty bad at games, but I have a feeling we might not be too bad at this one. At least for now. We'll see how the metagame develops. But I'd like to think that we, we do okay. Uh, here, let's see what bands come out. And there are, we have four bands. So that will be left with five stages. And let's see where we're going. Dang. <laughs> the walk-off's kind of uh, favoring Sonic a little bit right there. You got some little back to action going on. Oh, looks like we're going to Skyloft here, getting, staying with the moving platforms, moving, moving stage theme. They're staying their customs, staying characters, picking some Skyloft, and let's let this legend unfold before our eyes. And look for, look for 
I don't know, if I'm Jungle Chief right here, I'm just going to try to pick my holes a little bit better. Kind of got caught over committing and overextending just a little bit. I mean, it's frustrating. You got to like, you know, it's very hard to balance that when you see the opportunity seizing it as well as being impatient and just over committing. But when you find that balance, you're able to, you know, overcome a lot of just really difficult things. You got some, oh, he's in a terrible spot right there. Trapped by the ledge, picks up that hammer grounded action and oh my god all right jab the wrong direction kind of one of the hard things too is like when you hit luma you have hit lag so you lag a little bit more which allows rosalina to counter and i think against most characters that's like a really powerful special that's gonna ground people on their trap oh it gets the back throw ampharos lets out a, a cry of no oh yeah that one was stale And he just uses the, you know, the abort mission option, up bees away from the side of the stage and tries to get as far away as possible. Oh, man, he... Jungle Chief playing a little tentative even right there because he was in shield and then he watched Rosalina Luma. Rosalina just air dodged twice. That's one of those things you just got to be able to capitalize on and just really put the hurt on if you want to... Especially when you're playing from a disadvantage. It's, you got to take your holes when you get them. As I said, it's got to find that balance of execution, patience. It's all there. And that's what makes it a wonderful game, though, you know what I mean? Just It's an exercise in empathy and emotion. After the event. This is eights. Okay. I gotta do some TO work real quick. Alright, play CP1. No one replace me. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what's left. And right now, it's pretty even, you know? Jungle Chief doing a great job. Oh, didn't know he got the ledge trump. Could have picked up a back arrow, it looked like, right there. Barely survives. He's holding on for dear life. If he picks up the lead here, that'll be huge. That, that might give him enough momentum to carry it into a game three. Uh, Ampharos being a very patient player, just throwing out some feeler, just a little poke projectiles. Oh, gets caught a little bit. It's trying to cheat in a little bit too. Oh, the Luma. Luma clutches up right there and picks up that stock. That's a that's a heartbreaker. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be the dagger. That puts away Jungle Chief. Let's see if he's able to just maintain composure, bounce back, and bring, make it close. He's definitely not out of it. He can pick up, you know, he's got that back throw to pick up a kill. He's got all kinds of things. He picks up that back air, that'll be enough, and we're in business, boys. It's not over yet. Don't count Jungle Chief out. And being joined here by Fragger on the What's commentary. Up, What's up, guys? We're here at the end of game three. Oh, okay. Jungle Chief got Oh, he's really, got that back throw, really he's got some behind. action. We got, we're back at that walk-off stage, and again, you see Ampharos pulling that abort mission. Get the hell out of there. Yeah. Goes the other side. Operation Fuck Sonic. And it's one of those things where, you know, sometimes it's better to give up damage if you can get that spacing just away, mm -hmm. minimize the risks. That's three back airs. That might come into play later on down the line. We're sailing. Uh, it might be stale. Yeah, we'll see. That's one oh, hit. Oh, you know. And right, there's so much platforms. tension right now. Yeah. They're just trying to feel each other out. And platform. not to not to start calling out things that more factors not not only the terrain the transformations, but the time. Oh, it's taking life away right now. That's true. Picks up that's that true. Smash. These trades are not going. And see, like you know, it's not in his favor. Not just because it does damage, but every time he gets this away, that's seconds on the clock that he's eating. One, two, three, and Jungle Chief's got to like do a good job of just balancing out. It's the time. Doesn't matter until about another 20 seconds. Just gotta just play, play his game. See if you can pick up some opportunity. Oh, he's in a little bit of trouble here. He's, oh, he's got in something. It. He is in it. Let's see what he's got. This could be oh some oh, critical he... moments. Grabs the ledge. Oh, he cancels oh. the ledge. Wow. Ooh, he, he, he baited a forward smash. So oh, he's got something here. Slick. Let's see what That's he's got. What 15 it? seconds. Now we're talking some oh, for the you. time. It's getting oh, high. Oh, Rosalina. <laughs> Who do you got here? Do you got Sonic? Do you got Rosalina Luma? Jeez. No it's Luma. Over. It's over. It's over. Chief. Oh, uh, Jungle Chief, yeah. watching some grabs right there. That'll probably do it. Yep, GG. Ampharos takes it. Good game. 
We don't do uh, amazing Amphros. If you, or if you guys don't know, um, uh, hey, play MGG. I'll get, I'll get.